Rustic Crust Pizza presents What's Cooking with Rustic Crust founder and president Brad Sterl. Here's Brad. Hello, and welcome to What's Cooking. Today we have kind of the bacon lover's treat. It's going to be a uh, bacon pizza with a pesto cream sauce. I'm going to top with some red onions. Bake it in the oven. Be ready to go. We're going to make it on our Tuscan six grain crust today. Bacon with pistachio cream sauce. Here's what you'll need. Pistachio cream sauce. Aged Gouda cheese shredded. Sharp cheddar cheeses shredded. Thick smoked bacon cooked and chopped. Sliced pancetta torn in pieces. Sliced prosciutto torn in pieces. Thinly sliced red onion. Top with chopped green onion. Pistachio cream sauce ingredients. Salted pistachio, one half cup. Garlic clove, lemon juice, one half lemon. Spinach, two cups. Olive oil, one fourth cup. Kosher salt. Pepper, one half cup sour cream. One teaspoon red pepper. Directions for making the pistachio cream sauce. Mix pistachio, garlic, lemon juice, and spinach in a blender or a food processor. Gradually add olive oil, salt, and pepper to taste. Pulse in sour cream and red pepper. So we'll start with the crust here. We have the pistachio cream sauce, which I have some, the recipe on the video that you'll get to watch today. But it's, uh, I like to put it on, I don't really spread it as much as I kind of dollop it around. But it's, uh, everybody thinks about pistachio and pizza, it's kind of a unique taste, but uh, if you like pistachios, sometimes even if you don't, as long as you're not allergic to nuts and stuff, it's a uh, pretty good one to try. So once that's spread around, we use a couple different kinds of cheese. I use a sharp cheddar. Sprinkle it around here, a nice little taste. Then we're gonna use a, uh, a smoked Gouda, kinda enhances the bacon uh, flavor, with a little bit of smokiness. Once we have this all on, we're gonna start adding our bacons. And uh, we have a pancetta, a prosciutto, and we're also using a thick cut uh, smoked regular bacon. We'll start putting them on here. Uh, just spread them around. I've got them all kind of already pre-torn. You can tear them as they go on if you like. I put them on kind of decent sized pieces because I like them to crisp up nicely in the oven. That's why I put all this on top. If you don't want them to crisp up, you can always put them right under the cheese. That's fine too. Then we're going to add some uh, red onion. You can either use some diced or some uh, thinly sliced red onions. Either way is fine. That's all we have to do there. We use a little sprinkle of salt, a little sprinkle of pepper. We're ready to go. Put it right in the oven. Take 10 minutes. We'll be ready to eat. Okay, let's take a look, see if we're ready to go. Yes, perfect. Now we're gonna, we're gonna just cut it up really quick here. What we'll do is we're just gonna top it now with some chopped green onions and it's ready to go. There it is, just like that, it's ready to go.